I reviewed System Audio's Cecil's reactive speaker previously. While it was a good product on its own, it had apparent limitation of being a lifestyle product. Thus, it would be rather unfair attempt to define the sonic signature of System Audio by a Cecil's Re. This Lesson 5, on the other hand, is the top of the range bookshelf speaker System Audio offers. It is more serious full-on hi-fi product than Cecil's Re. Looking into this speaker may be a great opportunity to grasp System Audio's real intention. I can think of one word when I see this speaker and that is understatement. I mean, it just looks like large accessory and there is hardly any flamboyance at a glance. It does not scream I am here message like Focal Counter or Audio Vector R1. Everything seems pretty plain. Such presentation is fairly unusual for current audio market. Most speaker makers try their best to make sure their products to look and feel more expensive and special. Monitor Audio Bronze 100 at the back, for instance, looks fairly expensive at a glance and it costs like one third of System Audio's Legend 5. But make no mistake, System Audio is capable of making high quality speakers and they're never big on making their products visually outstanding. Their previous model, Pandion 2, had high performance units from Scanspeak and made from Open Forum in order to make great speaker that would please more discerning audiophiles. But even Pandion 2 maintained fairly low profile look. For audiophiles without much knowledge on units, it would be hard to tell that Pandion is a speaker with a few thousand dollar price tag. Legend 5 may not be as exotic as Pandion, but it is not too hard to find that Legend 5 is a well-made speaker. This finish of Legend 5 is not plastic film like some, like monitor audio speaker at the back, and feels very durable. Matte finish means it has more resisting nature against fine scratches than piano finish. Woofers used in Legend 5 are made of woven carbon fiber. Most of us know that carbon is much more expensive material than either polymer or aluminum. Soft on Twitter of Legend 5, well, it is hard to tell how it is going to perform just by looking at it, but I can safely suspect that they are fairly high quality tweeters, judging by Legend 5's price tag. Rear panel of Legend 5 seems, well, plain, but it is harder to make port as just a hole than merely adding some plastic cover on it, simply because it requires more precision in preparation and, and further process. Audio Vector did the similar job on their R1, well of course R1's port is with even more sophistication than Legend 5. But then again, R1 is more premium speaker than Legend 5. I particularly like Legend 5's acrylic isolated binding ports. They look very promising. I'm pretty sure they are custom made from third party manufacturer. Perhaps not from premium brand like WBT, but they seem very high quality. Okay, sound. I say it is better speaker than Paradigm 200B, Pork Audio, L200, Magnus Signature 5030, Mission ZX1 in terms of authority, bass resolution, detail, precision, and response. Lesson 5 has understated sound, just like its looks. It has calm, somewhat shadowy presentation with plenty of detail. Well, there is not much of lushness of warmth like that of Vienna Acoustics Haydn. Legend 5 is not a party speaker. I mean, it can be used as a party speaker or speaker for easy listening. 
but it would be more suitable for critical, serious listening. It is a kind of speaker which likes to render sound rather objectively. In my opinion, listeners can manage critical listening with much less effort within Legend's calm and understated presentation than many other speakers. Legend 5 is highly recommended for audiophiles who prefer chamber music, small scale ensemble, but does not want too much fat in the sound. What I miss from this speaker is more clarity and sparkle in the air, like that of Audio Vector R1, but, but then again, R1 costs a lot more than Legend 5, so I guess that is, well, fair. But Legend 5 too has its relative advantage over R1, apart from its lower price tag. There is more shadow in the sound. Audio files who prefer darker presentation may find this little bookshelf very pleasant for that matter. Well, that's it for System Audio's Lesson 5. I'll be back with Monitor Audio speaker back there. There will be some very high-end speaker. It's called Wilson Benesh Discovery Tour. I have one 2.1 speaker. I am not 100% sure whether I should make a video or not. And there will be some decks like a Bell Canto i fi decks, and I'll probably talk about it later. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.